Water at 60 degrees Fahrenheit flows through an 8 inch cast iron pipe at a rate of 1500 gallons per minute. Determine the Darcy friction factor and the head loss 450 feet of pipe. Okay, so once again, we're going to be solving the Darcy Weisbach equation, which means that we need to know what F is. So we need to figure out is this laminar flow or turbulent flow. So the very first thing that we need to do is calculate out Reynolds number. To calculate out Reynolds number, we're going to need to look up the properties of water. And we can look up kinematic viscosity is 1.21 times 10 to the negative fifth feet squared per second. So how do we calculate out Reynolds number? Well, it's the Reynolds number based on diameter. It's velocity diameter over kinematic viscosity. We do not have velocity because our velocity is in GPM, which is a volumetric flow rate. So before we can calculate that, we will need to calculate our velocity. Velocity is Q over A. It's very important to remember, volumetric flow rate is not velocity. If you plug this into the Reynolds number equation, you should notice the units don't work, but also it will give you the wrong answer. It's a very common problem that we have in fluids. So I've got 1,500 gallons per minute. We want to convert that to feet per second, so that's one minute. It is 60 seconds. And then 0 0.1337 cubic feet is one gallon. So that gets us cubic feet per second on the top, divided by the area, pi over 4. 8 divided by 12, that puts it in feet squared. Looking at all the units, minutes cancel, gallons cancel. We're left with cubic feet per second and feet squared, so feet per second. We calculate that out. We're running at a velocity of 9.6 feet per second. Now we can go and plug that back into our Reynolds equation. 9.6 feet per second. Our diameter is 8 divided by 12 feet, divided by our 1.21 times 10 to the negative 5 feet squared per second. We plug all those numbers in, bash them together, we get 5.3 times 10 to the fifth. That's a very turbulent flow. So that means we're going to be using the Moody chart and not the shortcut of 64 of the Reynolds number. So let's bring up the Moody chart. So we already know that our Reynolds number based on diameter is 5.3 e to the 5. We're going to need epsilon over d to finish this. So if I look up epsilon cast iron, 0 0.00085 feet. Epsilon over D, unitless parameter. So we got to make sure that we divide by our diameter in feet. So 8 divided by 12 feet. That will give us an epsilon over D of 0, 0, 0013. So we take a look at things, and I have my Reynolds number 5.3 times 10 to the fifth. So that's going to be pretty close to this line here. And then 0013. Well, here's 001, there's 002. So it's about a quarter of the way between those two. So it's probably right about there. And so if I look at that, we're looking right about an F value of 021. So using that F value, let's plug that into the Darcy Weisbach equation. F L over D V squared over 2G. So 0, 2, 1. Our length of pipe was 150 feet. Divide that by 8 twelfths of a foot. Our velocity was calculated out to be 9.6 feet per second squared. Divided by 2 times 32.2 feet per second squared. Feet cancel, second squared cancel. I'm going to just be left with feet, which is good because that's what I expect. So my head loss due to friction, when I calculate that out, will be 6.8 feet.